Hello, everyone. I am super excited to be sitting here with my favorite circus performers, and that is something that I have not said in a really long time. Sora Soul, who is the head diva of Circovation, and Josh with a J, superstar. How are you today? Thanks for having us. Uh, we are so pleased that you are going to be part of our Spark concert on January 30th. It is going to be super fun. And I'm going to ask, of course, the the big question. First of all, what is Circovation? And how the heck did you decide to start a circus troupe? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, we're really excited that Symphoria is having us back. You are one of our favorite organizations. It's always a highlight of our year to be able to perform with you. Well, so, thank you. We thank love you having, having you. Back. We love it. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you? What? Oh, so how did you? Yeah. How did you get into performing, Josh? Oh, um, so I learned how to juggle specifically to attract a mate. And when that didn't work, <laughs> I decided to rely on my good looks. And when that didn't work, <laughs> I resorted to begging. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Josh is my husband. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't the juggling that, that did the trick? Sora? <laughs> yes, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> So how long have, have the two of you been performing? Um, I don't know, do you, do you call it circus performing? I don't even know what to call it. Circus yeah, performing circus works. Performing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. How long absolutely. have you been doing that together? Together, you know, we met in New York City uh, in 2009 um, and we have been uh, together ever since. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and I mean, Circovation came along a few years later mm -hmm. after we got together. We were both mm -hmm. circus performers before we met, and then right. we got together and continued circusing. Wonderful. How do you decide, Sora, I'll ask you, how did you decide that this was your calling? I didn't want to be in an office anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think all of my life, I wanted to be a performer. And my mom, because I, I am Japanese American, I was supposed to be a doctor. Yeah, of course. And so, and I think my mom saw this in me and said, don't be, a, don't ever become an artist. You'll always be starving. Um, and so like, it just was never really, and, and she said that with great intention. So um, I don't blame her for anything, um, but, you know, I, I reached a certain point where I said, this is really literally the only thing that I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so I left the office. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and you moved to a new kind of office. I love it. <laughs> yeah, my office is much bigger these days. Yeah, <laughs> and you, it, has, it has more fun toys, I bet, too. So many more fun times. Totally. Yeah. Well, so, um, Sora, I want to get serious for, for a second because one of the things that you do as a performer is advocacy work and specifically adv advocacy surrounding representing people with physical differences on screen and in performing. Can you tell us a little bit about that work? Yeah, sure. So, you know, we, I was born with a facial difference. Um, many uh, medical terms on top of medical terms that nobody will understand, but I was born with a couple of rare conditions that affected the left side of my face. Um, and, you know, I'm 37 years old and throughout this pandemic, because we have been out of work, because live entertainment doesn't truly exist right now, I've had a lot of time to um, think about these pieces of myself that I've been pushing away. Um, for my life. And, you know, my advocacy comes out of a deep need um, to bring visibility to um, a subset of the population that doesn't necessarily have positive visibility. Um, and this is not trying to be an inspirational figure, it is a deep-seated need to save lives because 
physical differences in a society that is so hyper focused on on physical appearance, those who live with physical differences are targeted of hate crimes, are targets of hate crimes. Um, there is an incredible amount of violence towards people living with disabilities, um, which includes physical disfigurement. Mm -hmm. um, so, and within the arts and media, our representation is very limited to the roles of villains um, to the roles of victims. And if you really take a critical look at media, you will be hard pressed to find anyone with a physical difference in the role of hero or romantic lead. And the more that we talk about this, the more we can bring positive visibility and a more normal uh, lens to something that is not talked about. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to acknowledge and honor that work. And I have to tell you that um, I'm sorry, but I think you are an inspiration. <laughs> and I know that that's not your goal, but um, but you do inspire. And, and that's one of the reasons that we love having you on our stage. Aww. And, you know, this is, you mentioned that you have not been performing live um, during the pandemic. So it's been 10 long months of of no shows this is the first one back what have you been doing to get back in shape or have you just been do, doing circus circusy <laughs> things all the time anyway maybe maybe that's what you do oh well oh, oh you're looking at me yeah <laughs> <laughs> right i know it, it sounds cliche at this point i feel like everyone at some point during the pandemic has uttered the words oh no i have to learn how to juggle again <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a hard couple of weeks. <laughs> um, because of COVID restrictions, we've had the uncertainty of the pandemic has only allotted us 18 days to get ready for this show. Um, so we have all just been uh, joking about, you know, I, I have had to learn how to fly again. <laughs> And this is fun. <laughs> this is, you know, we just have to have a sense of humor about it um, and, and hope that this isn't going to be our last show with you. <laughs> well, I, I would hope that it's kind of like riding a bike, just like a really tricky one, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> those, those skills come back. And I think, I, I feel like I've seen you, Josh, on a unicycle, right? Oh, that's true. So, yeah. you know, definitely just not be a unicycle this Saturday as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You heard it here first, folks. There may or may not be a unicycle. Um, Sora, what is your favorite thing about performing? You know, this is this is so very um, schmaltzy, but I mean this truly that I got into performing because it was a way for me to bring love and light to the world. I just felt like this is something that I loved so much and I wanted to do have a profession where I can just be part of bringing light mm -hmm. um, in a way that made me happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's really like the big perk of what we do. Mm -hmm. How about you, Josh? Do you have a favorite part? Oh, sure. I agree with those uh, <laughs> sentiments. We've had the chance to perform all over the world. And I think there's one there's one thing all humans have in common, and that's that we all love to smile. Mm -hmm. And you both and your whole troop do an amazing job at, at bringing out those smiles. Oh, wow. And I'm sure that there are going to be tons. In fact, I was saying before, before we got on, I'm playing and I'm going to have to work really hard at not smiling because I need to be playing the flute while you're doing all of your amazing acrobats and everything. So what what is a little bit, besides um, maybe a unicycle, something people can expect at the concert? Hmm. Well, we're still preparing, so yeah, <laughs> anything could happen. But I'll, I'll say this, uh, the last time we performed with Symphoria, we had the opportunity to do an aerial act that featured a leaf blower. <laughs> and that said, 
anything could happen this time around. <laughs> well, for, for some well, reason, I still had us back. <laughs> the sky's the limit as far as I'm concerned. I am overjoyed to be able to see you here, and I can't wait to see you in person this weekend. And mm. for everyone watching, this is a concert that you do not want to miss. Snuggle up pull all the family together in front of your screen on your couch with your popcorn that you make at home and enjoy from home sora and josh with a j superstar thank you so much <laughs> thank you for having me thank you so much